Talking about future in English. Will versus going to. There are two ways to talk about the future in English. Will or won't and going to. But which one should you use in each situation? In general, use going to for plans and arrangements. And use will and won't for promises offers and decisions made in the moment let's look at some examples going to for plans and arrangements on my next vacation i'm going to stay in a nice hotel we're going to get married in september david is going to meet us at the restaurant in half an hour Remember that in spoken English, going to is often pronounced gonna. So these sentences would be pronounced, On my next vacation, I'm gonna stay in a nice hotel. We're gonna get married in September. David is gonna meet us at the restaurant in half an hour. Use will and won't for promises. He'll send you an email later. I won't tell anyone your secret. I'll pay you back tomorrow. We won't forget your birthday. Usually, will is abbreviated to the short form, so we say, he'll send you an email later, and not, he will send you. Use will for offers. I'll buy you a drink. We'll help you carry those boxes upstairs. Finally, use will or won't for decisions made in the moment of speaking. For example, if someone asks, Would you like tea or coffee? You can say, I'll have tea, because you made the decision in that moment. Here's another example. We don't have any eggs. Really? We need eggs to bake the cake, so I'll go to the store and buy some. One situation in which you can use going to or will or won't is when making predictions or saying general statements about the future. Here's an example of a prediction. Your wife will love those flowers. Or, your wife is going to love those flowers. These sentences are equal. Here's another example. At current rates, the company will grow 200% in the next five years. Or, at current rates, the company is going to grow 200% in the next five years. In the case of predictions or general statements about the future, you can use either going to or will or won't. One final tip about using the sentence, I think, when talking about the future. Say, I don't think it will rain. Not, I think it won't rain. There's no specific rule, but it just sounds more natural. So now we're going to move to the model helping verbs. Model helping verbs modify the main verb by adding necessity or possibility. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use can, could, may, and might. Use can and could to express ability and possibility. I can swim means I have the ability to swim. We could go to the movies means it's possible for us to go to the movies. You can also use them in the negative form to express no ability or no possibility. You can't enter the restricted area. This means it's not possible. He tried to call me, but he couldn't get through. Couldn't means it wasn't possible. Use may and might to express the idea of maybe. We might go camping, depending on the weather. This means, if the weather is good, we will go, and if the weather is not good, we won't go. I may go to the gym if I can get off work early. Again, 
it's not a certainty, but maybe I will go, depending on my work. And also, you can use could and may to make polite requests. For example, could you open the window? May I help you? Could you turn down the TV? May I ask you something? Oh, okay, all right. We just have covered the both uh, grammar lessons may and might and could, the model uh, verbs. And also we covered uh, well and going to. So all what I need you to do, just uh, do the exercises uh, in the student's book. Uh, it will help you a lot to absorb the whole idea of both lessons. Uh, so focus on that and also I just uh, told you uh, earlier on the Facebook that you also can uh, send me these uh, answers uh, directly through the Facebook. Uh, okay, so that's going to be uh, for the student's book. Uh, the homework is going to be page 46 and 48. Okay, the, the homework is going to be 46 and 48 in your workbook. Okay, so uh, I hope that was clear enough for you. And uh, till I see you again next lesson, just uh, take care of yourself and have a good day. All right, bye-bye.